previously on the last episode of what the f are they detailing now the r11 had too short of a life things were not looking good Guys, we are going to get to the ceramic coating in detail of this ski do in our next video. I need to get my jog on, guys, so take care. Hey, man, some of us like EDM. Put that back on. All right, now that we're all caught up on the Chris Barant trailer from episode one, we're now going to focus on the Lynx Rave RE. And last episode, I did call it a ski do so many times. Uh, however, I, I fixed, I got my together guys okay i got my shit together and we're ready to kick and get this thing done now first thing is first we got to bring it inside inspect it my customer was nice enough to come back later on that night after we picked up the trailer and move this back to the uh back to the detailing space where all the magic happens where all of our paint correction happens in the back of the shop we only had an hour and a half to get it done he had changed his mind he wanted it sooner so i had to come in the middle of the night with my with my girlfriend and we slammed all the stuff together that we needed and had to develop a plan just like we developed a plan for the Chris Branch there and say, hey, what pads are we going to use? What buffers are we going to use? What is needed in this? Obviously, the door jam bucket is not needed for the detail, but we put it in there. The Tech 580 is a great product. Why not have it ready? You know, if we're going to ceramic coat, it cures in one hour. Uh, the GT Quartz would not be able to cure in time. However, one thing to keep in mind, too, is how are we going to clean this? Did I have time to wash it? Do I want to wash it? So what I did instead is I actually went ahead and did a waterless wash and using high compressed air and just targeted everything. Now, not only did I use high compressed air, but I also used an all-purpose cleaner and a combination of a detail spray to get this thing ready for paint correction. Now, this thing is brand new, so it didn't need to be clay barred and like heavy decontamination. It's brand new, people. It's driven in the snow, but I got it ready. It looks beautiful. Check it out. Now, I've never detailed one of these before, but I was still able to find these covers. When I detail, I wanna clean from top to bottom. I wanna make sure that everything is done, engine base. I wanna make sure the belts are clean. I wanna make sure the fans clean. I wanna make sure anything that I can possibly reach and get to without going way out of my way and way over budget, I wanna make sure it's detailed properly. So I took out some brushes, my APC again, and I went to town. Now, if you're not using high compressed air at your detail shop or if you're doing mobile, then you're not detailing it. And if you are, I mean, man, you're taking up so much of your time using a brush trying to clean a vent and then you still can't get that vent clean without high compressed air. So again, you're not detailing. Use high compressed air, get a good APC, boom. Now, I don't know about you guys, but this is one of my favorite parts of the detail and I found myself infatuated with the side view meters or hand deflectors as you would probably call them and, and if you look there was micro scratches but i went to town using a three inch buffer a medium pad and we were still using the roops uh, da fine polish at the time and the results are amazing. I know you guys hear me say that all the time, but look, the results are amazing. They speak for themselves. Now, one thing I wanted to kind of call out in this video is that a lot of 
customers come to me and they're like, hey Joe, how much is it for a detail? And we are usually about 100, maybe 200, maybe even $1,000 more when it comes to ceramic coatings, but maybe $100 more for an interior detail or maybe you know, $200 more for an exterior polish or something than most companies. And they're like, oh, you, this place, I'm just looking for the cheapest thing. I'm not able to help you. If you're looking for the cheapest place, to get your vehicle detailed. If you're looking for the cheapest dentist, if you're looking for the cheapest veterinarian, if you're whatever the cheap, we are not the cheapest. We are never going to be the cheapest just because we want to put all of our time and effort into quality. So we are a professional concierge detailing facility. We're going to give you the highest level of quality that you could possibly imagine. Sometimes you may set us to a budget. You may say, hey Joe, I only have $400 to detail this sled. So I'm gonna do $400 worth of work on that sled. And I guarantee that you're not gonna be upset with that $400 worth of what we did unless your sled is completely destroyed and you need like a three stage paint correction. But again, you get what you pay for. When you come to Lava Jarrett, you get what you pay for. And in my personal opinion, I believe that we offer even more than that because we're gonna go above and beyond on the detail. We're gonna go above and beyond on the customer care. We're gonna go above and beyond on making sure that your vehicle, whatever you may have, was done efficiently, was done you know, above and beyond the standards and recommendations that you wanted it to be at. And then furthermore, you have to realize too, is that as a detailer, how the heck are you gonna make money? How are you gonna pay for your $2,000 a month overhead or 3,000, whatever your overhead may be, how are you gonna pay for it? Calculate it out, sit it down. We sat down and we said, okay, we're using this much chemical, we're using the best chemicals, we're using the best guys. We are giving them the best that we can offer and this is what it costs. It, we didn't say, hey, how can we do it the cheapest to make the most? We said, hey, how can we give them the most but still be cost effective for the customer? And speaking of cost effective, we went ahead and used Tech 582 Ceramic Detail Spray as our ceramic coating which if you watch any of our other previous videos on ceramic coatings it's not a pure resin it's just a ceramic detail spray but it is still a coating now before you guys start throwing knives at me and uh, anthrax because I ceramic detail sprayed this and called it a coating if you've watched any of our other videos a ceramic coating is a ceramic coating whether it's a ceramic detail spray whether it's a ceramic polish or a true resin i would have loved to have done a resin on this it would have been more money the customer would have gotten better uh, a better uh, protection protective layer however we did what was best for the customer and also for the sled given the time constraint that we had and these are all things that you need to be able to address and be able to speak openly about with your customers knowing which kind of coating that you're giving to them i've heard you know of deep uh ceramic coatings for three hundred dollars i don't know i think you hear my great day in the back uh, barking but um i i don't know how you can do a coating for 300 dollars unless it's like what i just did right now it's a it's a sled i did some paint correction i detailed it i put a ceramic detail spray on there and i think it came out beautiful um for as well as this customer takes care of his vehicles and how it's only gonna be used like one more time and go back into storage i think it's a great price point however guys i want to hear your comments about detail sprays polishes coatings what do you guys think a coating is or or should it be sold as a true resin uh, ceramic coating or or should there be some some stipulations anyway guys joseph here with lava gr it's great talking with you guys i'll see you on the flip side in our next video